Prior to World War II, Great Britain was an advanced world power. Following the end of the war, however, it began to gradually lose its influence, giving way to the United States instead. On the other hand, judging by an ambitious project to develop a sixth-generation fighter, the country intends to regain its former status, thus taking its place among the other superpowers. In today's video, you will learn what exactly the Bay Systems Tempest is, and why it lays claim to being one of the most technologically advanced pieces of aircraft in the world. The UK's ambitious plan to replace its fleet of fighters was unveiled at the 2018 Farnborough Aviation Show, where the Bay Systems Engineering team revealed their concept. The Tempest, a sixth-generation stealth fighter with optional piloting. Its name was chosen in honor of the most successful British fighter, Hawker Tempest, who flew during the Second World War. The Tempest is set to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon in the Royal Air Force RAF. To ensure this happens, the country has allocated more than $2.8 billion to facilitate the program up to 2025. According to experts, however, the total cost over a 10-year span is closer to that of $34 to $42 billion. Preliminary estimates suggest that such a staggering amount will be sufficient to develop the necessary technology that will later set the trend for future aircraft. They will then be built on the principle of a more open architecture, in order to better adapt the aircraft to rapidly evolving threats. At the moment, Great Britain has plans to start operating the aircraft around mid-2030, although the military believes that the fighter will most likely not be ready to be deployed into action until 2035. The former British Minister of Defense, Gavin Williamson, is of a similar opinion, having said that by 2035 he would like to see the Tempest and the RAF on the same playing field as America's F-35 and the Eurofighter Typhoon fleet. The Tempest claims to be not only the most ambitious aircraft in Great Britain over the past 50 years, but also the most international fighter. Working jointly on its development, we have British defense company Bay Systems, world-renowned engine manufacturer Rolls-Royce, the Italian aerospace company Leonardo, and the pan-European missile manufacturer MBDA. Additionally, both Sweden and Italy joined the project back in 2019, the latter having announced its participation in the DSEI 2019. The British authorities had also discussed cooperation with Japan, considering various options and possibilities. However, no agreement was ever reached. Today, the majority of the RAF's power comes from a fleet of more than 145 Eurofighter Typhoon fighters, split in seven different squadrons, all of which are centered on two rather weakly defended airbases. Therefore, the government plans to modernize the Typhoon with the enhanced Captor-E electronic scanning radar system, which significantly increases both air reconnaissance and defense capabilities. But the problem still remains that the Typhoon is not a stealth aircraft. It is, therefore, incapable of safely and securely penetrating airspace with active, long-range surface-to-air missiles, such as the Russian C-400. Such a task was instead given to the American F-35 Lightning II fighter, 138 of which were ordered by the British although this number was later reduced to only 48. Even though the Eurofighter Typhoon beats the Lightning II in regards to maneuverability, the stealth capabilities and powerful sensors of the latter are more than enough for both the rapid detection and elimination of air defense systems and other key targets. On the other hand, even 48 F-35s may not be sufficient to fight against air defense systems if an all-out conflict with Russia were to occur. Furthermore, part of the air fleet would, in this case, have to be on Queen Elizabeth-class aircraft carriers to support naval operations. In addition to these aircraft, Great Britain has purchased a total of 16 MQ-9B Protector drones 
which are capable of performing extended surveillance and combat operations at minimal cost. They do, however, lack the stealth and maneuverability to survive a more intense military conflict. This is where the Tempest team enters the scene with its latest fighter. Capable not only of meeting the requirements set forward by the Royal Air Force for the future battlefields, but also mitigating the disadvantages of previous aircraft. The Tempest concept was presented as a tailless aircraft, with two keels flanking to the sides. It is projected to have a twin engine with air intakes located on the sides of the fuselage under the wing. The fighter is currently being developed along the lines of a more electric aircraft concept. This will be accomplished using the valuable developments at Rolls-Royce to create and install a turbojet engine, with an integrated high-power starter generator within the propulsion system. When the aircraft is connected to the airfield's power supply network, the starter generator will then act as an electric motor spinning the shafts of the gas generator in the turbojet engine prior to starting. Following the start, that same device will unwind from the engine shafts, thus generating electricity. This engine, which is a promising concept, will receive a generator connected to both low and high pressure shafts at the same time. The developers strive to take into account every detail and way to balance the load. The rotation may be removed only from the high-pressure shaft or from both equally. How exactly they will implement this is still undetermined. Rolls-Royce stated that it is committed to utilizing innovative, lightweight materials such as ceramic composites within the turbines. While the potential inflow systems from electricity is undoubtedly green, there are still doubts as to how durable the power plant may be. Bay Systems also reached out to Williams Advanced Engineering, a motorsports company specialized in racing car batteries, to help develop the power plan. The company is specifically expected to share its experience in battery management and cooling technology. But does this then mean that the Tempest will be using batteries? Although batteries can probably provide more power than fuel at a lower weight, the problem of air refueling arises. With a conventional fighter, the in-flight fuel transfer takes only minutes. However, the in-flight power resupply for an electric fighter would be much longer, going from a larger aircraft to a smaller one. It is also worth noting that they intend to install a high-energy laser weapon on the fighter, capable of inflicting powerful damage on enemy equipment. Such a weapon system would require far more power than any other equipment aboard the Tempest. The current solution being considered is the possibility of storing large reserves of energy directly on the plane. Speaking about the equipment inside the cockpit, it is worth mentioning that the radar system for this future British fighter was specifically developed, capable of collecting 10,000 times more data than its predecessors, and then furthermore analyzing said data on board the aircraft in order to detect hidden threats. The Multifunctional Radio Frequency System MFRFS, will be able to collect massive amounts of data per second, a volume comparable to the internet traffic in Atlanta, while surpassing enemy radars by blinding them. Along with MFRFS, Bay Systems also showed how the virtual cockpit will work. Information and data from cameras, radars, sensors, and other systems will all be displayed in augmented reality. The main feature will be that the pilot himself will be able to adjust what information is displayed, hence only what he needs, as well as where the information is displayed. Some of it will be visible at the level of peripheral vision, appearing only when the pilot's head is turned in one direction or another. Among other innovations, one cannot ignore Britain's plans to introduce artificial intelligence into its latest fighter. After all, the Tempest was created to be an optionally controlled aircraft from its very inception. In other words, it will be able to perform flights both with a pilot in the cockpit and in a completely autonomous mode. 
At the same time, many security experts are doubtful about such an innovation, stating that the aircraft should be completely immune to cyber warfare attacks prior to the introduction of a co-pilot. With such things as artificial intelligence, smart missiles with targeting, high energy lasers, what else could possibly be missing from the British fighter jet to live up to the proud title of sixth generation? The answer is simple, a swarm of drones. Engineers have already tested the human-machine interface in the cockpit of a Wildcat helicopter where the semi-autonomous drone transmitted information to the pilots in real time. This significantly expanded the crew's visibility and overall situational awareness. This is especially important in critical situations. When developing the Tempest, such experience will be taken into account and the artificial intelligence integrated into the cockpit will be able to use several drones at once as loyal wingmen. These will help the crew in battle, or the aircraft itself, if it performs a mission while completely offline. The MBDA company is responsible for the fighter's armament. They intend to adapt the weapons for the aircraft fluidly as various options are either adopted or discarded by the command in an attempt to find the optimal solution to extend the overall shelf life and operation of such expensive weaponry. The manufacturer is currently developing the concept of missiles for tracking targets. These would instantly target them and also intercept incoming projectiles in high-risk conditions. If the Royal Air Force, however, manages to equip the fighter with a laser, then the cost of missiles would be greatly reduced. With the skies of the future more threatening than ever, having hypersonic weapons and electronic warfare to hostile drones, pilots will most certainly benefit from the power and technology brought to bear by this futuristic fighter. The Tempest is an international project capable of invigorating the UK's manufacturing and technology sector. With the support of international partners, it can truly become the hallmark of the country's aviation for several decades to come. What are your thoughts on the new British fighter? What unique features impress you the most? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to miss out on new releases, make sure to also turn on those notifications. See you in the next video.